Okay. Here we go. I don't remember what we were doing. I have no fucking idea. What was the last? When was the last time we played? Before Andromeda came out, like the week before Andromeda came out. Oh my gosh, Aban, I love it. Oh yeah, Aban, look, look. We're not going to change that. You know why we're not going to change it? Because it takes for fucking ever to we're... sort that shit out. So the bun, bun is where we're going to be from now on. Good. Hey. Hi. How you doing? Oh my gosh, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 3 with Anthropola Kitty. I'm Momo. The results are available on the information network terminal. And that's you... Glyph. Ooh. But I'm not talking to myself. I have a friend here. Hi. Her name is... I'm Izza. Um, <laughs> I'm distracted. Here's Gillet's electronic signature. Matriarch... Is that how you say it? Fine. Sure, why not? Matriarch Galley was one, an Asari of some importance, with connections to Asari High Command and the Council itself. Her electronic signature can be used once before security protocols really is, it has been activated by someone else. Galley's contracts can open elite training facilities for reconditioning soldiers, or on behalf of the Asari Embassy, grant someone a discount at all Citadel stores. I want... Hang on. Elite training facilities for reconditioning soldiers. Does that mean it's for like re um, switching your your class? Don't know. Gonna open it. I think we're gonna have to choose one. Oh, okay. There Store you go. discount five percent. Use it for a discount, or what's the one below it? Power damage five percent. I reckon. Wow. Well, Power. Yeah, I don't that's care what about I was Sweet. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> cool. We just sneakily used your signature so once. Occasionally we get those sorts of options. It was such a weird. Um, do we uh, have to. That was an item purchase. Do we have to, we have to do on. something to activate that? Or is it just. Let's look working? at that later. <laughs> um, just for those of you out there, uh, it's been a little while since. So before Andromeda came out, we were trying to finish this game, right? So that we wouldn't spoil ourselves. So we spent a couple of weekends playing it. Like and solidly. We played like 15 or 20 episodes or something like that over a, a, lot, a, a yeah. couple of weeks. Um, so, and we haven't played it since then. So that was like two months ago. So we... I want to talk to Not Kelly. Those poor colonists on Eden Prime. First the Geth attack, now Cerberus. Mm. For what it's worth... Our new crew member doesn't need a translator himself. <gasps> oh, yeah. But he shared a Prothean language tutorial program. Really? It was apparently designed for servant races being inducted into the Empire. <laughs> Charming cultural clue. Is she going to disconnect her neck again? She just did. So we're, oh, yes. Whoa, okay. so many emails. All right, let's start from the bottom, I guess. Cool. We're about to read a whole lot of shit. Brace yourselves. <laughs> Gird your loins. Gird your loins. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, visiting the Citadel from Javik. Commander, I find this messaging system to be outdated and clumsy. I assumed a specialist trainer was joking when she said I had to type letters to form words. I want to visit the Citadel the next time we travel there. In my lifetime, I have been captured by the Reapers. If you would like to join me, I will be in the area where the embassies are located. I believe this concept of galactic control... Sh shared among races is a lie. It's a lie! <laughs> I love it! So is that, is Javik our, our Prothean dude? He is. Yeah, okay. He's just like, I believe it is a lie. Like, like he thinks that we're like tricking ourselves? Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Okay, Delish Mole from Adrian Victus, Commander Shepard. Cerberus just ambushed a Turian cruiser full of high-ranking hierarchy officials. The cruiser managed to escape, but its location was top secret. Cerberus couldn't have located that ship without inside information. And the only other person who knew the cruiser's position was v Volus Ambassador Din Korlak. Ooh. I've heard ugly rumours of a bounty out for his head. My advisors insist I can't bring these accusations against Korlak himself. I admit they're right. The Turian and Volus economies are highly, tightly intertwined, and now isn't the time for political crisis that would result. That political crisis. 
result. But the security of our fleets is at stake. I ask that you investigate Korlak in your capacity as a specter to find out if he is indeed a Severus mole. I forwarded information on his last lo- known location to the specter office in the Citadel. Cool. Regards, Primate Victors. I've just been like touching your cat with my foot throughout this conversation. <laughs> I couldn't see him, but I could feel him underneath my foot. <laughs> he's such a little jerk, he'll bite you. I don't know what he's doing. What is he doing? He's going to fight you. Gin, what are you doing under there? You're just like hanging out under the computer by yourself. Oh, shit. Is he biting cords? He may have been, but now he's biting my foot. Okay. Okay. Sorry. He's a cord biter. We've lost a lot of headphones. He's a jerk. I love him. Can you like (laughs) spray the cords or something? I've heard people saying they do We pasted them with chili paste. Did that work? Briefly. And then he just licked all the chili paste off? I don't know. He just It's not that much of a deterrent to him. Okay. <laughs> I thought maybe wasabi might help. But <laughs> we haven't got to that. Just like staging up the levels of torment <laughs> right. that you cause your cat. Well, you know, it's that Those old. headphones were expensive. Not just that, but if he's biting other cords, it could be really dangerous. That's for him. true. That's so... true. Danger is also a reason. Yes. All right. Hello, other cat. Getting away from work. From Liara to Sony. Shepard, I need an excuse to tear myself away from the, all these monitors. Come see me in the next the next time we dock on the Citadel. Everybody seems to want us to go to the Citadel for some reason. Well, I guess we're going to the Citadel after this. Also, yes, Liara, we will bang you again. Thanks. We've never banged her. What? Yes, I thought we did. No, we banged the um, the other lady. Oh, the we the specialist. Bang. But we didn't. Trainer. Oh, we didn't bang Liara. No, we never banged Liara. Uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> she was way too serious in the previous games. She was. Like... Serious Shepard plus Serious Liara would have been too powerful a combination. That's an unhappy combination. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, mine turn. Sorry. Headed for the front lines from Samara. Mm. Shepard, I finished my business on Lesus. I would offer to travel once again with you on the Normandy, but the code dictates I join the fight where it's most dire. How is it not most dire with us? We're literally stopping the whole world from being melted. Uh, while you do your essential work, I will do my best to help hold the front. Before I depart, I return to the Citadel for a short time to prepare. If it does not interfere with your duties, come find me there, Samara. More, so, yeah. more things demanding. I'm really excited about the fact that your cat is sitting on my lap. My other cat. And she is flicking her tail. She's real annoyed, but she's still here. But get her under the chin. Get her under the chin? Is that the... Sweet spot. That's the sweet spot? Oh, no. She doesn't want me to. Okay. I'm not. I'm not invited. Do it, do it. I'm not invited to the the chinny chin chin. You know how sometimes they let you know where they want to be pet? Cat facts. Cat facts. Yeah. (laughs) Hope lives. I wonder if this person will invite us to meet them in the Citadel. Uh, (laughs) Who who could say? (laughs) Who could say? (laughs) From Erdnot Bakara. Commander, I'm writing you from Kelfic Kelfic Valley on Tachanka. I wish you were here to see this. I'm watching Kroger and Porin from our, across our entire planet. So many of them that oh, I've lost count. <laughs> They've all heard the news. We are finally free. The age of suffering is over. Never again will Krogan be afraid to give birth. Never again will they fear the pain and heartache it might bring. Aww. While I don't know what fate ultimately has in store for my people, I can promise you your decision to believe in us will not be in vain. We will Yay. fight the Reapers for more than glory. We will fight them because we know there is a future for us after victory. Yay! The rest of my life will be devoted to travelling to Chunka and speaking aloud the words no Krogan has heard for nearly 2,000 years. There is a reason to hope. This I owe to you, Commander. This I will never forget. Oh my gosh, so many feels! Can you imagine getting these these sorts of messages from people if we had chosen to, like, surreptitiously not spread? So, okay, so we watched a couple of... Uh, um, videos of other people who'd like gone with the renegade options when doing the when doing the thing and okay spoilers we'll tell you we'll put a thing on the screen when the spoilers are over basically if you go renegade if you go like hard out renegade Morden is like I have to go cure it and Shepard is like no I'm not going to let you do it it's too dangerous the Krogan will be out of control and he's like it's my fucking mistake I'm going to go do it and Shepard fucking shoots him and kills him like Holy shit, Shepard, you're a bad person. Uh, renegade Shepard, at least. Yes, yeah, yeah. And then um, the that tower, like, releases what looks like... The cure. The cure. And, and all, the, all the Krogan are really happy, and they're like, yay! Yeah. And you're like... <coughs> you're like, yes. Mm, I sabotaged you. Yeah. So um, we're really happy we didn't go with those options. Oh, my gosh. Because, like, 
I didn't think... I didn't know how bad it was going to be. It was awful. Like, worst thing ever. Yeah. Actual worst thing. So, yeah. Um, don't be a dick. This is the lesson. Uh, okay, from Bryn Cole. Isn't this someone we've been looking for? Dear Commander Shepard, thank you again for all you did to get our group out of that facility on Galax. Admiral Hackett is an amazing man, and it's a privilege to work under him. The construction of the Crucible is presenting its challenges, but my team and I are determined to crack its mysteries. Although I never rely on luck, in this instance, I fear we may need a little. Stay safe, Commander. I hope our paths cross again. Sincerely, Dr. Bryn Cole. That's the War Scepter. The yes, war, the but space who, who is that? Is that the lady that mm. that uh, what's his face has got a crush on, or is it someone else altogether? Mm. Oh, whatever. Who cares? Else? Who cares? It's Moving a video on. game. A N N alert. New article on Cerberus. From oh yeah, blah blah. blah. Elysium, an evacuation shuttle nearly destroyed as it attempted to escape the reoccupied colony of Elysium, was reportedly saved after a lone biotic worker intervened. Mm. The shuttle was carrying children who drew higher numbers on the colony's evacuation lottery, meaning they were not eligible to board the first wave of shuttles leaving the planet. Their shuttle was saved when the biotic, identified by authorities as Arish oh, Agdashlu, engaged reaper forces that were preventing it from taking off. Agdash Lu had a history of drug abuse and criminal activity and claimed to have survived a Cerberus camp on pra- Pragia as a child. Witnesses said he killed several dozen Reaper creatures before he was overwhelmed, providing the shuttle just enough time to fly clear. Oh. I wonder why we've been sent that information. Like, can we go there? Can we find him? As Poss- he definitely did. Maybe we could save him. Possibly. Thane. Oh. 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 From Thane Krios. Siha, I write this with a heavy hand, knowing you will read this letter when I am no longer able to share my thoughts. I am dying, Siha, perhaps because of the differences between our species. I can hope that time will treat you with kindness and dim the hurt of my passing to faded recollections that a drow would forever remember with perfect clarity. Selfishly, however, I could not leave this world without leaving a piece of me behind that would never fade. Where are we pregnant? Sorry. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Wait, what happened? (laughs) Sorry, my brain just always goes there. (laughs) Uh, I once accepted my fate. Nothing remained but a shell destined to die. I only had to choose the when and how of my passing. I had refused to be confined to a bed, gasping horribly as my life beeped away to machinery I had no use for. I thought of my Erika broken, bloodied, and betrayed by my absence. Of Colliet, small and afraid, bravely pushing at his eyes to stem the flow of tears as I had entrusted him to cry for both our sakes. The expectation to move swiftly to my end vanished upon uniting with your cause. You awoke me, Shepherd. Oh my gosh, I'm getting really emotional. Uh. My heart quickened its sluggish beat, if only to remain at your side and protect you with everything that I am. I was content to simply watch, take the time left to given, and praise all I know for allowing me to walk my final days with hope and certain certainty that I am worthy of more than my cold isolation solely because you believed. I lo- oh my gosh, I love yeah. you. If all else whispers back into the tide, know this for a fact. By grace given me by the goddess Arashu, I bid her divine pr- protection to you, my warrior angel, my Siha, to succeed in your destiny, to light your path through the coming darkness, to give you hope when all else seems lost. I will await you across the sea! <laughs> oh no! Ah. The feels! The feels, that. Oh, that was intense! Ah. Oh. Chip, Miranda. Shepard, I discovered a few things about my sister. It's bad, Uh but there's something else going on. I'm back on the Citadel. I'll find a place to meet and send you a nav point when you get there, Miranda. Okay, so we're going back to the Citadel. Yeah. That's real sad. Well, it's lovely that he he sent us something. Yeah. I'm just like running in circles like, do we need to, I don't know. Yeah, just hang fire for one second. Um, I just need to process. This is me hanging five. Process my feels. Because I've got too much energy. Do you? How? No, it's Friday physical night. energy. We just had a full week of work. Um, Thane, what did I want to say about that? I'm distracted by you moving around. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I feel... Okay, so, like, 
part of me feels a little bit bad that we jumped straight into Beardworth uh, Trainor. Nah. But on the other hand, another part of me feels like it kind of works with Shepard's character of being a little bit like the feels are buried deep. They're buried deep. And I could imagine her just being like, well, the guy that I love just died and then like prayed for me as he was dying and uh, now I'm just going to like sleep with someone else that I just met five minutes ago. Well, it's just one of those comfort because, things though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I'm just like can't process emotions. No, and wanting to feel close to somebody. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go to the Citadel. I think that's where we're going. Okay. <sighs> All right, we're leaving Eden Prime. Oh my gosh, that sound. So familiar. Oh my god, yeah. I. I she says, I enjoy this game much more than Andromeda. <gasps> Confession! But we're only like. What? Like a few hours. Three or four into hours into. Thingy? Yeah. It's hard to judge a game at that point. It, it is true. That is true. But we do feel that this game is slightly better written. You're mm. clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Where are we going? Um, I'm going to go to the embassies. The I need to get to the embassies. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. What? Just a little comment from Edie. Edie, of course they're up. Well, like, what are you going to tell them to go away? Fuck. I was just reading this really interesting article about like a little um, little kind of village in Europe somewhere that like had almost no people there. You know like how mm. people always keep moving to the bigger cities and their like whole town essentially was about to like fall apart because oh, yeah. there just weren't enough people. And so they signed up to a refugee rehoming project mm. and like now the, the town is like full of people again That's because lovely. it's like full of refugees and oh. you know like they have like support to like integrate them into the community and support them and like teach oh, it's in Italy they were teaching them Italian and stuff oh. and I was like oh man it's That's a such lovely a nice program. story everything is a lie I everyone's getting face. along real well eh? he's got a good face suck it a of you isn't it <laughs> during our war this place became a myth to my people a dream glimpsed only in His the eyes move independently. The Citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hid here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. Uh, I don't know. I don't feel like either of those statements really apply, but whatever. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. <laughs> we got here squad. last, I mean... Mm. Oh. oh my gosh, this Pardon guy's gonna me. freak out. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. He just like. Hey, Hannah. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But if you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being a... Um, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Turian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. 
I'm just some Commander random Shepherd. lady. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting mm. alongside you. <laughs> he's kind of scary. I mean, I, I don't, don't think he's scary. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's a good guy either. No, he's just a guy. He's kind of racist. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. We have an issue for The Commander is a capable warrior as well. For a human who once lived in caves. Everyone comes from somewhere. Thank you, Commander. I've enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. I'm glad you feel better, dude. Oh, I love our hair so much. Do you remember there was a guy here who, like, um, was looking for his son? Oh, yeah, we, we missed that. We still haven't found it. I thought we went to the planet and totally missed that. Did we? Yeah. No, I don't think that he's not there anymore. We didn't find his son. Can we look at our quests and see if that quest is just gone? Cuz I thought that we had gone there, gone to the to the area, but we couldn't find him. I thought we actually went onto the planet to do something else. What was it called? Uh Would it be a secondary? No, it's a, not a codex. So many quests. It's kind of nice now that we don't have to rush with this game. Yeah. You know? It's just like, if we want to do all the things, we can. Oh, that's right. So many people wanted a pipe. Oh my gosh, they want everything. <laughs> you people are so demanding. Get your own damn pipe. That's just like, they want everything. That one? Yeah, they don't have it can, anymore. Can you go back to the widow one? If you should be delivered with a bomb man, find no shot on the citadel. Okay, we'll do that. But um, no, we don't I have it I think the quest's gone, yeah. Mm. So maybe we fucked it up. I'm, so, I'm surprised that there was no resolution to that, though. That, well, like, we never found him, and the guy never heard from his son again, I imagine. My just unpacked active duty, and I'm about to get shipped out, too. I was told you might be able to help me. Of course. You're a Neotis spouse, correct? I, yes. How did you know that? We keep identity information on all permanent Citadel residents engaged in formal relationships with Asari. That way, should anyone require diplomatic aid, we can ensure prompt assistance. Is this it's the person we're looking for? Then you can help me send my daughter back to my wife's family? I, I'm afraid, however, that might be a bit difficult. Okay, so Why? we'll have to keep an eye on that one, because we'll get some resolution. Perhaps for the next time. Hmm. So we want to go to the Spectre office. Yes. So we Good remember nating. Remember nating. Wouldn't it be funny if Kaden was just in here? Just like, hey Shepard. Volus Ambassador Dim Kulak's current location is unknown. Biometric analysis does not detect him in any public location at this time. His last known position was at an office suite near the human embassy. Okay, guess well, we'll go let's there. go there and see what's what's, what's the haps. Oh, random cutscene of pushing buttons. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah, with Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive and right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. You probably should kill him anyway. Shepard, listen. <laughs> I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history. Ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Yeah, well, mm, mm. just before I click this, but, I want, yes, I was going to say, let's admire the butt. 
Okay. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but uh, I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. Yeah, just murder you him. Sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. I think we've talked about this before, but Miranda is one of those characters that I came to really like. Yeah, really uh, hated her at first. Yeah, but I, did, I came to really like her. I, some of some of the interactions with your friends are so... They've got that slight level of weirdness to them because they've written them to be um, able to be interpreted as both you just being friends or you being romantic involved meant romantically involved like when when it's not a situation where they can be bothered having specific dialogue just for if you were involved yeah yeah you know like some of the interactions with like kaiden as well like we've commented on it being like just slightly too intense yes and it would be it make more sense if you were involved look uh let's see how bad wow, i wonder doing. i wonder who's gonna be like taking the place as the earth's ambassador now that What's his face? Is a big traitor, traitor. Hey, Shepard. Dead. Also. I have to admit, the place feels safer with you here. Everyone's walking around in a daze, or in my case, limping. And I wonder if we'll ever be the same. Oh, well, we might. These are dark days for all of us. We might all die. So, you know. Yeah, I mean, hey. Whatever. All that time you were working for Udina, did you ever suspect? Always rubbed me a little wrong. Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead and you're still here, Bailey. Yep. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Odina and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. He Fitting, got shot. I guess, given the state of the galaxy. Yes. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is going to keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. I love how this guy is just, like, the epitome of, like, hard man. Like, <laughs> yeah, but kind of like, I don't know. I like him. Can this station yeah. be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. We're grilling our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but it's time-consuming. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. He's like, when you say he's, yeah, he's, he's like a, um, one of those people you meet. He's like a Clint just, Eastwood type character. Yeah, like. where they're like real rough on the outside, but you're like, you're a gem. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far. By How the way, the Citadel fit into the war now? We've asked all these questions ah. before. Uh, the war finally found us. Fine. They're saying this is the war to end all wars. Well, I haven't seen Did I just say back to work? Right. No time for rest. Good luck, Bailey. Yeah, you too, Shepard. It's making me crack up how, like, it keeps switching between, like, soft focus on him and normal. It's like, soft face, scar face, soft face, scar face. Uh. Uh. Hey, Samara! Samara! I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Mm. Faler is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. Yeah, I love our grumpy face so much. I, it's grown on me. Yeah. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. Hey, we kept you alive in the last game. Will Falaire be all right in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive... Falaire will find it. It was good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Jessica to dwell so much on her family. No. 
I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Literally. Thank you. It's interesting. So, remind me, am I, am I right that, like, Falaire and her sisters, they're, like, a result of, have, like... Asari, 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 Asari thing. But why are there so many? Did she have triplets, or, uh, or did, did she, she just, just keep, keep having babies? Keep having babies illegally, even though she knew they I don't were think turning it's into like, but like not, vampire. Yeah, people. I don't think it's illegal for her to keep just having babies, but. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but like, uh, uh, you mean uh, like all Asari, Asari matings end in like the vampire children, or? Mm. Look, I'd have to look it up, but my um, or is it just more likely? My recollection was that it was a, a possible result, right? So maybe she didn't know until they were older. Maybe she did have triplets. Maybe they were all the same. Age. Yeah, maybe they all are the same age. All right. Somebody, do you know? Tell us the internet. Tell us. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face. It's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? There's that many rapists. Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. That seems bleak. <laughs> yep. Uh, was being a Justicar worth it, if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. I really like her. Like, like she's not the kind of person that in real life I would be friends with because no. I find her too intimidating. Yeah. But I really like how consistent her character is. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such... small discrepancies. <laughs> is that how you see it too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. Aww. <laughs> Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But goddess go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire soon enough. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm interested, like, I'm, I'm, I'm curious if there's a, a layer of, like, preparing us for the end of the game this point like it's like we've signed off with Thane we may have signed off with Kaiden like he's just sort of disappeared signed off with her you know like I, I, I feel like there's a layer of kind of like and we've had a couple of warnings of like prepare yourself yeah prepare yourself so that like I think there are still some side quests that we can do if we want to which I think we do still want to do some yeah we do um but I, I just sort of feel like there's a light level of kind of like... Get ready. This is the last time you'll see this person. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that's all we have time for. Yeah. Um, that, uh, I found that really interesting. Like, even though we didn't do much, like, lots of storyline stuff. There's heaps of stuff. And now we, we've um, got a lot of... Not closures, not the right word, but, like, updates on a lot of the people that we... Care about. Yeah. 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 All right. Thanks very much for joining us, guys. We'll catch you next time. Bye.